Republican North Dakota Governor Jack Dalrymple stepped into the state's top job when his former boss, Governor John Hoven, resigned to take his seat in the United States Senate. Now, Governor Dalrymple wants to win the job in his own right. Two years ago, I stood before you and I said I was ready to take the reins of our state government. I promised I would do my very best with your help to take North Dakota to a new level of pride and prosperity. Well, with Drew Wrigley as my Lieutenant Governor, we achieved our goal. And today, North Dakota is the envy of the nation. But ideological differences within the North Dakota Republican Party bubbled to the surface at this year's convention, as evidenced by Dalrymple's opponent for the party's gubernatorial endorsement. We have great potential here in the state. We're heading in the wrong direction. Our policies are working. Dalrymple spent a lot of time touting his leadership throughout last year's historic flooding across the state. And he also took a lot of credit for the state's energy industry growth, as well as the state's strong overall economy. Manufacturers are also expanding throughout North Dakota. Technology companies are creating jobs that didn't even exist before. Tourism is poised for a great year in 2012. And agriculture, our number one industry, is thriving in spite of last year's weather challenges. But Dalrymple's opponent, Fargo businessman Paul Sorum, doesn't think everything is so hunky-dory with Dalrymple in charge. Since 2000, we've increased state spending in North Dakota 135 percent. And at the same time, we still have the highest tax burden on business of any other state in the country with the exception of Alaska. And it's unacceptable. That is not a Republican principle. Don't be misled by statements about large increases in spending when they include tax relief, making up for federal cuts in senior programs, and one-time infrastructure investments that do not need to be repeated. This chart represents our state spending. The red, the red line is increase in state spending since the year 2000. This is our increase here. This green line represents the corresponding rate of growth in personal income, which is about half the rate of growth of state spending. We have struck the right balance by investing in our priorities, saving for the future, and cutting taxes. We have today projected a $1.5 billion surplus in this biennium. When we increase spending at twice the rate, more than twice the rate, of the increase in rate of increase of our spent our personal income, that's an injustice. Some people say that we have spent too much. And at the same time, other people say we have not spent enough. Our principles on spending are clear. We have not and we will not spend more on ongoing programs than we receive in ongoing revenues. This is wealth redistribution. This is fueled by massive taxing, massive spending, and we need to put it back in perspective so that you people here in this room, in this state, benefit from state government. Dalrymple, a successful businessman, spent many years in the North Dakota legislature, and he says he understands finances. My insights come from many years working in, on the state budget. First as appropriations chair, then as point man on the state budget as lieutenant governor, and now as governor. Sorum says he understands money very well, too. As this astronomical increase in spending goes up, our standard of living is going to go down. It's no secret that living standards in western North Dakota aren't all that pleasant these days as the region struggles to keep pace with the rapidly expanding oil boom. Dalrymple touts his administration's recent billion-dollar infusion to address infrastructure. I want to make it clear to our friends in western North Dakota, we're with you and more help is on the way. I spent a lot of time in western North Dakota helping people plan housing, developing housing, and I've learned what's going on. Our oil industry is a terrific industry. We're blessed here with a bounty of natural resources. There is no excuse why people's standard of living, their quality of life has to be destroyed in order to have this oil industry. We have immense resources. We can cut the spending like I showed you. We can increase the standard of living the way I showed you and still finance and construct infrastructure statewide. We will not fail 
to meet the needs of the people of Western North Dakota. Sorum used a lot of his time to pound away at state spending under the Hovind Dalrymple administrations. Here's what I propose in my administration. Using our core Republican principles of limited government, efficiency, I would propose spending decreases that would come back below the rate of increase of our personal income. But Dalrymple focused mostly on the state's economic success and his handling of the floods and oil boom. Our careful attention to fiscal management is what makes it possible for us to meet these challenges head on. I'll put more money in your pocket so families can survive this national economic crisis and your standard of living will go up. Here you're guaranteed government will work to your benefit once again. Our future will depend on our ability to set the right priorities and to manage our resources wisely. We can do all that, cut our spending, put more money in your pocket, become competitive for, for businesses with other states, and improve your lives by building safe roads, building water systems that are reliable. We can build sewage systems. We can provide the school buildings. We can provide the funding we need. Those are investments that long term will make our economy grow along with a fiscally responsible government here in North Dakota. I pledge to you today that we will hold the line on spending and work for even greater tax cuts. Sorum did deviate a little from economics and talked about his desire to pass pro-life policies and fend off what he considers intrusive federal regulations. I have taken a pledge to our core Republican principles because Republican principles are our founding principles of freedom, self-government, private property rights, limited government. I will remain as accessible to you as any governor can ever be. And I will dedicate myself and my experience to our continued success. I ask for your support. I'll listen to you. I'll work with you. I'll collaborate based on principle, Republican principles. I am very humbled and I'm very grateful. And with a lot of respect, deep respect, I ask for your vote for the nomination. When all was said and done, North Dakota Republicans decided to stick with Dalrymple as their candidate by a wide margin. With the Republican Party support heading into June's primary election, Dalrymple is expected to coast into the general election where he'll face one more hurdle to keep his job. Democratic State Senate Minority Leader Ryan Taylor.